I'm Ty Campbell in Nanaimo. And I'm Christopher Munz Micklin in Victoria. And this is 9 Out of Line Telecam Report Special on the transition from A News Vancouver Island to CTV News 2. What that transition is all about, here's Christopher to explain it all. Thank you, Telly. Um, well, to really understand this transition, you have to realize that CTV2, um, formerly known as the A Network, and CTV are both owned by Bell Globe Media. Um, Tally Campbell's going to have a little bit uh, of a more detailed explanation of uh, the ownership of CIVI later on in this broadcast. Uh, but in May of 2011, Bell Media announced that they would be renaming all of their A channels um, to CTV2. Uh, the likely reason that they were doing this was uh, to create some brand recognition across both their two networks. Um, the transition itself really took place as a flash cut. On August 26th, which was a Friday, um, ATV aired their regular newscast with their regular graphics, um, and then, as always, no news on the weekend. And on Monday, all of a sudden, the channel was broadcasting with new CTV2 graphics um, with a slightly revised format. CTV News, Vancouver Island Report. Good evening, thank you for being here. A suspected murder for hire plot has been uncovered in Parksville, and RCMP think the intended victim may have saved his own life. The man went to the Oceanside Mounties and told them that he believed his estranged wife was trying to have him killed. Police say two people then came forward and said the woman had offered the money to commit the murder. A uh, CTV News reporter, Steve Coltman, has the story. Uh, he joins us now live with the tale. Steve. Hudson, late this afternoon in a Nanaimo courtroom, the woman was formally charged with three counts, two of counseling to commit an offense and one count of threatening to harm another. Uh, so as I say, a real flash cut uh, in terms of the newscast. Uh, but the changes are going to continue, uh, especially as we move on into the fall, uh, where CTV2 is going to have a new lineup, um, mainly consisting of American shows. Um, however, the real advantage of this network is going to take place uh, during the 2012 Olympics. Uh, CTV has the rights to broadcast the 2012 Olympics, and as they're broadcasting the Olympic Games um, on the main CTV network, they're going to be able to shift some of their programming, uh, some of their regular programming on CTV over to CTV2, uh, so that people wishing to watch their regular programming instead of the Olympics will still be able to do so. Meanwhile, the main CTV channel will be freed up uh, to broadcast the Olympics. One final change that will be happening at CIVI-TV um, is that the station is going to begin broadcasting in high definition on August 31st. Um, on August 31st, 2011, all over-the-air television stations in Canada are required to switch from analog to digital if they have not done so already. Um, and at about 12.30 a.m. on August 31st, uh, CIVI television is scheduled to turn off their analog transmitter in both Vancouver and in Victoria and turn on their digital signals. Um, when they turn on their digital transmissions, it is expected to be in full high definition as well. Um, I know Shaw Cable is already ready to pick up the uh, high definition signal for uh, CIVI TV, and I'm assuming uh, Bell TV and Telus TV will be soon to pick up the signal as well. Uh, but for now, uh, it's time for a more detailed explanation on the history of CIVI television. And for that, we're going to head over to Nanaimo, where Tally Campbell is standing by. Thank you, Christopher. Exactly. A News started in 2001. It's coming up on its 10-year uh, stationing on Vancouver Island. Here's a look back at those 10 wonderful years of A News Vancouver Island. At the end of the 1990s, Chum Limited only owned over-the-air television stations in Ontario. Similarly, Craig Media only had stations in the Grand Canadian Grand Prairies. Both companies looked to expand their national presence and both submitted a bid when the CRTC issued a call for applications for a new TV license in the Victoria area. Chum was awarded license in 2000 and CIVI was launched on October 4, 2001 as Chum's first original station to be part of the new net system. Known in the air as a new VI, the station started off with much pomp and circumstance. It voiced a large lineup of personalities including former British Columbia and New Democratic Party Cabinet Minister Moy, along with Czech TV old anchor Hudson Mack. The station's news anchors walked around the studio instead of sitting behind a news desk, mimicking the format used at sister station City TV Toronto and other new net outlets. However, the station struggled to compete against Czech TV, a station which had essentially held a monopoly over the television industry on Vancouver Island for more than four decades. And as of August 2, 2005, the station was renamed as A-Channel along with the rest of the new net system. 
The station would likely have been named H Channels as it launched had Craig Media One license 2000. And on July 12, 2006, CTV Globe Media, formerly about Globe Media, announced plans to purchase Chum Limited with the intention of divisioning the H Channel stations. On that same day, it was also announced that H Channel Morning Show would be discontinued, although the station was supposedly unrelated to takeover by CTV Globe Media. The station was renamed A on August 11, 2008, along with the rest of the H Channel systems, as well as Atlantic Canada's ASN. As a result, CIVI's newscast was rebranded as A News on the same date, and the station began producing its morning show under the name A Morning on September 8, 2008, but was later cancelled as of March 4, 2009 due to economic issues. And now, on its 10th year, it's changing to uh, CTV2, as we said. It'll be known as CTV News Vancouver Island. That transition started on August 29, 2011. Now, we did ask for an exclusive response to this whole change in transition from A News Vancouver Island. They both did decline. However, John Paul, the president of Czech News, which is the industry's competing competitor in the news industry, um, said this, John Pollard. I think the change of a name does not make a, much of a difference in news. People watch the news they like. Take the BCTV to global change. Viewership ch stayed the same. Even we changed once from check to CH and then back to check. We still have more viewers. It's not the name, it's the contact. Signed, John Paul. There's an exclusive um, uh, response from John Paul, the president of Czech. Now, obviously, we've known from changes that are going on at, at uh, CTV2, obviously, the layoffs of Jonathan Bartlett, as well as, as Meredith Burton, all, uh, we found out by Twitter. Now, we're going to ask Chris right now. Christopher Victoria, what is the change? What do you think of this change going from A News to CTV News, too? Chris? Yeah, you know what? I think it's a really interesting question, uh, whether this is going to end up bringing in more viewers for uh, CTV2 News. Um, since its inception, CIVI Television has always been sort of second rate uh, in comparison to Czech TV, which is the primary competition here in town. Um, personally, I've always sort of looked at uh, CIVI News or the new VI News or A Channel News or whatever they call themselves as sort of a more hip version of the news. Um, however, now it's definitely become clear to me and should become clear to all viewers that they actually have the power of a full national news network behind them. Uh, however, at the same time, Czech has signed a new sharing agreement with the CBC, meaning that they too have the power of a full national news network behind them. Uh, so really, I think the reason that Bell decided to rename the station was to create brand recognition, not only for the newscast, uh, but for all the shows as well. Um, however, in the long term, it'll be really interesting to see what changes uh, in viewership this could potentially have. Exactly. The change, like like John Paul said in his statement, the change is a name. They've changed from a, the new VI, like I said before, to A Channel, to A News. It's the quality they bring to it. Now, we do know CTV News does have a very good quality name in the news brand. We'll have to find out, ladies and gentlemen, because they do have a brand new lineup coming into the studio in this fall. But really, people watch, like John Paul said, the news for the content that brings it to the station. So it'll be interesting. I'm Ty Campbell, and I'm with Christopher and Victoria. This was an INET Online Ty Campbell Report special on the transition from A News to CTV News 2. Thanks for watching. Have a good night.